Don, Parcel fly! Parcel fly! Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Fate. These are the top 10, 15 moments when the Fast and the Furious franchise abandoned reality. As a huge fan of the series, I'm not trying to hate or criticize one of the biggest franchises of all time in a bad way. I'm just gonna present to you a deep dive in a funny and entertaining way about when they literally escaped reality. Things really changed after Fast Five, but with the right imagination, these scenes are actually extremely entertaining. And no, I'm not talking about that badass scene where Toretto and Brian are using two Dodge Chargers, dragging a vault behind them, chased by 50 police cars because that's totally sick and clearly possible, or when they were jumping through skyscrapers with the Lycan Hypersport, that awesome looking car. I mean, Toretto is a man of his word. The only thing that matters is who's behind the wheel. This list could easily be a top 30 or more, I know, but let's go ahead and get started with Number 15, Toretto became an earthbender in Furious 7, 2015. In this fighting scene between Shaw and Dom, we're at a multi-story parking garage. Thing about street fights, the street always wins. Imagine how awkward it would have been if the street didn't collapse. <laughs> Number 14, crime scene vision from Fast and the Furious 4, 2009. Dominic goes to the crime scene of Letty's accident and death, and he literally becomes Sherlock Holmes, and he creates this entire crime scene with his mind from just watching a few tire tracks and tears in the road. Number 13, Brian jumping the yacht from Too Fast, Too Furious, 2003. In this scene, Brian and Roman are driving to save Monica from the villain in the second movie. They're reaching up to 120 miles per hour and using a ramp near the water to fly and land perfectly on the escaping yacht. Now, to be fair, they actually used seatbelts here and didn't walk out immediately like no harm was done. Number 12, Roman, how are you not dead? Fast and the Furious 9, 2021. Take a look. How in the hell are you not dead? <laughs> you know exactly what I mean, but you gotta admit, it's pretty funny. Number 11, the never-ending runway from Fast and the Furious 6, 2013. This scene is when Toretto's crew are trying to bring down an airplane that's taking off from a runway with each one shooting cables that stuck to their cars. The scene goes on for about five minutes with an Antonov flying above the runway which would mean that this is probably the longest runway in the world by miles. Number 10, Cuban Mile Race, Fate of the Furious 2017. In this one, Toretto uses his cousin's car to race the fastest car in Cuba, and he removes car parts to lose weight, and he uses a Coca-Cola can part for boost, somehow. And of course, Letty finds Cuban Nos out of nowhere. Anyways, after half the race, Dom's motor overheats and it catches fire. And as the flames grow, he puts the car in reverse, turns on the Cuban Nas, which gives him the perfect boost in the last second. He wins the race by inches and then sends his cousin's burning car into the ocean. And for you who haven't watched the latest movies or any of these movies for that matter, you might be thinking, well, yeah, it's kind of much, but they didn't jump from like airplane with cars or anything. I mean, it's not anything ludicrous like that. Well, you might be up for some surprises. Number nine. This one is actually from Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift 2006. I know, I know, many of you are probably like, okay, so you're gonna be putting drifting and racing at number nine now? But I just couldn't ignore the fact that in this movie, they're supposed to let us think that Sean in Tokyo Drift is 17. <laughs> I just had to put that on the list because it's hilarious. I mean, sure, many actors are 25 or even 30 when they're playing high school movie roles, but look at this manly man. Number eight, deadlifts a car using one hand, Fast X 2023, or the movie they should have named Fast 10 Your Seatbelts. Well, maybe not, but let's move on. Dominic Toretto is under heavy fire in a shooting scene, and he has a rifle in his left hand, 
and he deadlifts a GT Mustang with his right. I mean, the car is laying on its side, so it's not like it's upside down or anything, but when are they gonna make it official that he's really a superhero? <laughs> Number seven, holding a helicopter, Hobbs and Shaw 2019. In this scene, Shaw is driving with a helicopter behind him attached to his pickup with a chain. Hobbs is standing back on the pickup when the chain suddenly slips. Hobbs grabs the chain quick and holds the helicopter by his hands, and he shows his massive strength at the same time as those well-oiled up arms. After a few seconds of flexing, he reattaches the chain to the pickup and the action scene continues. Now he is struggling, but not as much as Captain America did in Civil War, and that guy's a super soldier. <laughs> At this point, Nick Fury and Agent Coulson could have called him up and been like, family, assemble. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Something dramatic, I hope. <laughs> Number six, flipping the truck, Fast 9, 2021. In this scene, they flipped the armadillo truck that weighs around 26 tons. Just take a look. I mean, this is one of the reasons I love this franchise. All the ridiculous and unrealistic stuff are just so fun to watch and extremely entertaining. And it gets even better. At number five, pulling and pushing cars with magnets. Fast 9, 2021. Did someone say world's most powerful magnets? Uh, yes please. <laughs> Using the magnets in the cars, Dom and his crew are able to pull the cars to them and also push cars away from them. And they even pull a car through a building into a truck. And Dom, as always. You're a natural. <laughs> of course I am. Now, it kind of seems like the magnets know which material to pull and which material to push, but it sure does make for a pretty cool scene. Number four, Catching Letty, Fast and Furious 6, 2013. In this scene, we've got cars as always, but let's add a tank to spice it up. Letty is standing on a tank when it's going fast on a highway, and the tank is soon going to catapult Letty into the air as it's stuck to a cable with a car on the other end that works like an anchor on the bridge. Toretto sees this, gets out of his car while holding the wheel, and crashes his car catapulting himself into the air, saving Letty. Luckily, they land softly on a windshield at the other side of the bridge. <laughs> Although Dom actually admits later on, the landing wasn't calculated. You're lucky you didn't lose your arm. And let me guess, you saved me. Number three, jumping out of a plane with cars, Furious 7, 2015. In this scene, the cars are equipped with parachutes that are guided by GPS, of course, so it's a walk in the park. And Roman tries to hit the brakes while he's in the air. That will never not be funny. <laughs> Almost everyone lands perfectly on the road and with the front facing the direction that they're heading. It's all calculated and they always got the power of family. Meanwhile, it probably should have looked like what happened to Roman, but for everyone. Trees. But no, that wouldn't be cool. Number two, crossing the rope bridge slash swinging the car like Tarzan in Fast 9 2021. So this is a two-parter, but it's kind of the same scene, so why not? The first part is crossing the rope bridge. Toretto and his crew are, as always, dodging bullets and missiles from cars with machine guns and helicopters. Dom is trying to chase down his brother, Jacob. Roman, Tej, and Ramsey comes to the rescue and rams a car behind him and miraculously crosses this collapsing rope bridge. And take a look at Tej. I mean, can you be more calm as the entire bridge is collapsing behind you? Who needs laws of physics, right? <laughs> the second part, swinging the car like Tarzan. Jacob is transported and gets away from the chase by an airplane, leaving Letty and Dom stranded and still under heavy fire from choppers. Now there's no bridge to cross over to Roman, Tej, and Ramsey on the other side of the mountains, but Toretto's always got an ace up his sleeve. Just watch. No, 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 no. And he's like, nah, that's totally possible. I've done this before. Crashing the car with force, no seat belts, and not even a single scratch on either of them. Even the pilots and the choppers were so impressed by the stunt that they let them go. And number one, going to space. Fast 9, 2021. Yes, you heard it right, space. Tej and Roman goes to space in a Pontiac attached to jet motors. I mean, a Challenger, yes, that could have obviously worked, but a Pontiac. Take a look. The funny thing is that fans pretty much memed this into existence. After around Fast 6, people were writing, 
LOL, watch them go to space next. And they got what they wanted. And pretty much all this about saving the world is because Brian, aka Buster, wanted a tuna sandwich. So that's all for this video, but don't hesitate to give your own opinion on any moments like this from the franchise in the comment section. I mean, we've got a submarine chase and taking down a drone with an ambulance that I didn't even have on this list, so you've got plenty of options. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions of what to do next, let me know down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified on upcoming videos. See you soon.